In this video, we're going to look at the solution of, to question five from the midterm practice exam for calculus two, math 1220 here. So here we have a table of values for some increasing function f. So our function f is given by this table of values. Using this table, we want to approximate the integral from 10 to 30 of f of x dx using the trapezoidal rule T5. That is, we're going to use the trapezoidal rule with five subdivisions. So some things to note is that 10 is the boundary on the left. So this is our a, our a value. 30 is the boundary on the right, which is our b value. And so to approximate using the trapezoidal rule, T5, what we're going to do is we're going to take delta x over 2 times this by f of x0 plus 2 times f of x1 plus 2 times f of x2. I guess I didn't need all those parentheses there. We're going to get 2 times f, whoops, I did it again, f of x3 plus 2 times f of x4. Plus, uh, plus 1 times f of x5, like so. Now, some things to note here is that the a value, this is exactly what we mean by x0. So we already know that. This one right here is x0. And b is going to be our x5 right here. Um, at some point, we need to identify what is delta x, right? Delta x, it's going to be the last value, b minus minus the first value a over 5 in this case. Well, I mean, in general, it would be over n. Uh, but if we use the specifics of this question, we're going to get 30 minus 10 over 5. Um, 10 take, take away from 30 is 20. Uh, 20 divided by 5 gives me 4. And so we're going to take an increment of 4 as we go through these. And so if you look at that, you can see that 10 plus 4 is 14. This is my x1. Plus 4 is 18. That's going to be x2. Plus 4 is 22. That's going to be our x3. Plus 4 is going to be 26, which is x4. And then plus 4, again, gives you 30. Now, in this situation, the, the six values they gave you are exactly the values you needed for this one. Don't automatically assume that on the test. It actually might give you extra information that you don't need uh, for this problem here. All right, what do we do next? Uh, well, we need to start plugging these values in here. So we're going to get delta x, which was 4, over 2. We'll come back to that one. We're going to take f of x, 0. Um, that's this number right here. We get a negative 12, like so. We're going to get 2 times f of x, 1, which is negative 6. We're going to get 2 times um, f of x, 2, which is a negative 2. Uh, we're going to get 2 times f of x, 3. That is f of 22, which is 1. Then we get 2 times... Um, f of x4, that is f of 26, which is 3. And then lastly, we're going to get 1 times f of x5. Um, x5 was 30, so we look at f of 5, which is 8. Like so. So let's try to simplify these things. 4 goes into 2, 2 times. So we get 2 right there. Uh, we get negative 12. Um, we're going to get 2 times negative 6, which is another negative 12. Uh, we're going to get 2 times negative 2, which is a negative 4. Uh, 2 times 1, which is a 2, 2 times 3, which is a 6, and then just an 8 to follow up there. And so try to add some of these things together. Uh, notice if we take 12 and 12, that's a 24, minus another negative 4, that gives me 20, uh, what did I say before? Sorry, 28, 28, 24, and 4 there. If we add the positives together, 2 and 8 are 10 plus um, 6 would be 16, like so. So now this is the hard part of the problem. It's called two-digit arithmetic. Yowzer, I might embarrass myself here. Um, but if we do this, uh, 28 take away 16 is going to give us 12. That should be a negative 12, like so. Times that by 2, we're looking for a negative 24, uh, which would give us as our final answer E right here. And so on this question, we did the function for T5, uh, the trapezoidal rule. But on the test, you could be asked to do this with the midpoint rule or the Simpson rule. So using the same table, I would actually recommend uh, computing the midpoint rule or the Simpson's rule and see what you get there. You'll notice that some of those answers are listed as distractors on this one. 